Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video, a series of videos where I take a look at some of the more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. And also just a bit of fun, just some shits and giggles and a nice little bookend to the week. So how was your week? Mine's dandy. Going to be a lot better next week because I've only got a three day working week. But that's got absolutely bugger all to do with this video. I'm just letting you know why I'm in a a more Jim Dandy mood than I normally am, should I say. What do I have to eat this week? Well, you've seen the thumbnail uh, and you've read the descriptive term much like you do every week, so I really don't know why I start every video like that. But um, I was gonna do a very different pizza this week. I'm not gonna say what it was. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you might know what it was, but I've just checked it. And even though I picked it up um, Tuesday night, and we're only on Friday, because yes, it is actually Friday that I'm shooting this video. Um, I assumed it would still be in date, and not four days out of date, because it was pretty much out of date when I bought it. You could argue that's entirely my fault for not checking the date on the front of the pizza when I bought it, but I would like to argue that personally, I think that's down to the supermarket. But hey, and do you know what? I know you can eat stuff that's out of date and they argue that you should or encourage that you should do because of food waste and stuff like that. I ain't taking that chance with chicken. So anyway, not going to tell you what it was. Um, if I can't get one next week, you're never going to find out what it was. But if I can get one next week, then I might do one next week on Fat Friday. But that's completely and utterly by the way. This room, considering this is frozen, smells fantastic and I am dying already should have smelt my boot uh, when i came home with this in my car i have since put it in the freezer um but yeah my boots smell i literally opened the boot and got hit in the face by tanging tangy spiciness which is um the worst things to get hit in the face by uh anyway I went back to uh, my own favourite adult playground, Iceland, and when I was walking around, looking around for things like that, I walked by the, uh, the TGI Fridays um, uh, freezer, I'm going to say bin, chest freezer, well it's two freezers now, so clearly that range has expanded, and clearly that range is doing really, really rather well for Iceland, and I guess... TGI. You see, the two ranges that they seem to be doing that really, really are, you know, um, have, I should say, taken off are their, you know, their whole spice, scarily spicy hot range and Carolina Reaper stuff. No idea why I'm directing traffic and or landing planes like this. Um, and uh, the TGI range. And you could argue uh, the supermarkets have caught on to their hot and spicy range and are copying that. But TGI, um, I keep wanting to say TFI after the uh, the 90s, and it was reprived a couple of years ago, amazing show with Chris Evans. Oh, I missed that. 90s uh, TV, Friday Night TV was absolutely fantastic. But yeah, so as I've said in these, oh, as I've said in these, oh my God, these range of videos I've done before on TGI products, I really, really do like them. Um, they're supermarket quality food, and I've never actually been to a TGI's, so I don't know how accurate products are to the actual chain of restaurants, and if they even carry half of these products. So by all means, people, let me know down below, because I've tried their ribs, um, chicken wings, and both their types of fries. Uh, I haven't tried any of their sweet food because I don't have a sweet tooth. Although that might be why the range has expanded, because there was clearly a whole bunch of other stuff, such as cheesecakes and things like that, uh, in the other freezer. Sorry, waffling. So, I walked by and I did a double take and just saw new. Because they introduced new boneless wings um, the other day, uh, or the other month I should say, but I've had them and I didn't make a video out of them because, well, at the time I didn't plan to make a video, I was just bloody starving and I ate them. And they weren't really that different to the other boneless wings, they're basically nuggets, but they didn't come with a hot sauce. 
I'm dying, I'm dying, so I couldn't be asked to uh, make a video of it because, you know, I'm all about the hot sauce. This, though, is their first pizza. TGI now has a range of pizzas. And when I say range, I mean one. <laughs> um, do they have pizzas at their chain of restaurants? I don't know, but I walked by and saw a new TGI Friday's spicy chicken sharing pizza. Interesting choice of words there, TGI slash Andor Iceland with sharing. Let's be honest, that's a pizza for one, isn't it? Or maybe it's not, and I'm the only person who considers that a pizza for one. So sharing, not so much. Dave's? Definitely. Uh, it's only a two chilli rating out of a potential of five, so you're probably thinking, that's not very hot for you, Dave, is it? It certainly smells spicy, hence the fact that I'm dying. And I can see jalapenos uh, on the box art, so I will show you that. But they have excellent form, does TGI. They have excellent form and stuff that says it's not particularly hot. Uh, and also, maybe um, it might be hot for you, but it's not for me. You know, your mileage may vary, but um, it's not particularly hot. But it's definitely had a kick in it and certainly was extremely pleasant. So I'm not going to consistently write off low chili ratings now. Three is generally my entry, but not going to write them off. Apparently, I don't know how to put glasses on when I'm wearing a hat. But, um, yeah, it, if you could smell what I smell right now, you'd be, you'd be up for giving this a go. You'd probably be up for giving this a go anyway, because it's a pizza. But, yeah, spicy chicken sharing pizza, exclusive to Iceland, 535 grams serving suggestion. Look at that. Uh, obviously, it's got their red and white barber sign. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, mantle. And, yeah, you know, it looks really, really rather quite nice and splendid let's see what it says on the back for best results cook from frozen uh oven preheat oven to fan 200 degrees celsius gas mark seven there's no need to not care about the fahrenheit because it does not have fahrenheit on here um, remove all packaging and place directly into the middle shelf for the oven for 28 minutes 20 minutes sorry 20 minutes gas uh 22 minutes Right, so gas, obviously gas mark seven is me who doesn't have a fan assisted oven, so even though it's not gas, you know what I mean, so 22 minutes, the fact that it only knocks 22 minutes off having a fan, which is a more expensive oven, I see just buy a normal fucking oven, you can really live with losing, not losing those two minutes of your life, if you know what I mean. Ingredients, um, flour, that's the first ingredient, is it? <laughs> wheat, sorry, wheat, flour, water, <laughs> that's the third ingredient, spicy cooked chicken breast, that's the fourth ingredient, 40 ingredient, 14%. Um, I can't read it because it's very small black on really bright red. Coloured chicken breast, cooked chicken breast, coloured cooked chicken breast, chicken breast. Uh, what? So chicken breast cooked and non-chicken breast, tapioca starts, dextrose, salt, rapeseed oil, spices. We're down to there for spices. We're down to there. So I would say that that does mean potential. So that's good. Um, salt, uh, dried garlic, um, dried herbs, sunflower oil. It doesn't tell what the, heart of the, the, the dried herbs are, all the um, you know, spices are, so that's annoying. Mozzarella cheese, milk. Sorry, that's how you say milk when it's all embossed and in black for the people who have allergies and stuff like that. How, how to just put it in there normally? If, if you suffer from allergies and stuff like that, but you're not prepared to take the time to read out stuff that could potentially be in these things, I say that you're not managing your allergies very well. Uh, granted, I don't have any, so, no. Uh, right, so, yeah, that's it. Um, oh, hang on, jalapeno peppers, but they're down there, but spice there, jalapeno peppers there. I say, for something that only gives us two chilli rating, that this could have potential, and I have not really had, as such, anything wrong. I say as such, I've not had, period, anything that's not being tasty and delicious in this range. Maybe I should drag my ass to a TGI's Friday's. Uh, and see what they're like in the actual flesh, if you know what I mean. So, 22 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius, or gas mark seven, if you don't have a fan-assisted onion. Onion? If you don't have a fan-assisted onion. It's Friday, I'm in such a good mood about not having to work a full week next week. Um, I'm all over the shop. Anyway, let's take this downstairs, open this bad boy up, and bang it in the oven. As always, I do these things in real time, so you can see the process alongside I.
Right, uh, it's still sealed, but the minute I popped open that box, you can really, really smell spices. I mean, I know it says it's not hot, and as we just talked about, um, possibly it isn't, but it certainly has a very, very spicy kick. Oven is on 200 degrees Celsius. Ignore the light. The light is a liar because it went out just now. Uh, and I'm going to open this, and it says 20 minutes, but just that brief time of me talking um, about it, and it doesn't feel like it's frozen solid anymore. Even though it's 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 froze, I don't know. I get scared. Uh, I do generally get apprehensive about cooking pizzas in the oven because I don't want to burn them. Anyway, right, I'm going to open this up, I'll show you it open, and then I'm going to bang it into the oven. Right, it really, really does smell now. There's some definite heat coming off it, but it just smells really nice and spicy. Uh, what time is it? It's quarter two. I'm going to check it at one o'clock because like i said it's not defrosted as such i can still feel that but i don't know maybe is it supposed to be for once for a better descriptive term this floppy i don't know it's going on the top see if i can leave myself a little bit of overhang so i can actually get it out without burning my fingers I mean, you could put more cheese on it and stuff like that, but I like to try these things uh, so you can see them out of the box. So I'm going to come and check it uh, two o'clock. Right, it's a pinch after two o'clock. I've been looking through the window, so I'm going to take this out now because that smells incredible. It pretty much looks done. I'm not saying ow, 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 ow. Actually, I'm not saying ow, 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 ow. Well, I am. Um, the, you shouldn't follow the cooking instructions. It's just normally you wouldn't take a pizza out of a box, would you? And then waffle about it uh, to a camera for the best part of 10 minutes. All of which, because it's quite warm still, uh, it's about 24 degrees, um, it would slowly defrost. Anyway, pizza. Box. Pizza. Box pretty much looks um about the same um as i briefly mentioned possibly i shouldn't have um left that clunk uh, or chunk sorry my mouth of jalapenos right there but hey why not that's how i like shit um yeah you could add more cheese if you wanted to it's not like they stimped on it but just be honest if you want a pizza you want you want a friggin cheesecake good cheesecake you know what i mean savory cheesecake of you know um cheese on top i walked into that one but clearly you know what i mean right let's change hands and cut this see if i can do it one-handed is it going to be crunchy it's a thin base forgot to mention that i don't like thick base pizzas it's like basically bread cake and it detracts from it i can not express what a fantastic enough what a fantastic smell is coming from this right now that's what i always do pizza cutter check uh yeah it smells absolutely phenomenal and it does smell a little bit hot uh, not massively it's certainly what is it with these things they smell hotter in the box or when they're frozen i should say anyway let's plate up and let's give this bad boy a try all righty let's go there now i would like to um reiterate that if you are going to try this you may not want to yet because I haven't tried it and we don't know whether it's good or bad dying. Um, I would say definitely um, the minute you take out of the freezer, cook it for the 20 minutes on the back or the 22 minutes, depending on whether or not your gas mark seven and stuff like that. I, I'm getting a little tinge at the back of my throat. Good signs. Um, yeah, I only kind of fuddled the um, time, if you will, because as I said, I was aware that it was defrosting because it's quite warm, especially in here with the window closed um, while I was waffling to the camera. Fat Friday styly. Anyway, my fire extinguisher of new choice is Vive Tropical Blast Zero Sugar Pineapple and Grapefruit. Basically, knockoff lilt. But this is the best knockoff lilt and it's only available at Audi. Right, let's get into it. Um, I did include an extra picture at the end um, because I was aware that when I was filming this and comparing it to the box, there was a light on on my phone. Um, so I took a picture to show you what it actually looked like. And I would like to say, I think it pretty much does look like the box. I don't think I've overdone it. Even if I defrosted it or anything like that, ever so slightly a pinch. Um, because you've got to remember, the box is basically photoshopped, art padded and shit, and basically raw. Anyway, uh, two uh, tears in a bucket. Look at the cross section of it. That looks 
No, that's the back, Dave. That looks fantastic. This is definitely not, you know, a sharing pizza, is it? I mean, come on. Anyway, good chunk of jalapenos on there. You can see it's not the one that's loaded with that the most. We'll try that one next. Good chunk of peppers, red onions, all good stuff. So, um, two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. Excuse me, I'm a slob. Mmm. Oh. Oh, oh. <coughs> One second. <coughs> I inhaled ever so slightly and there's a chunk of this down the wrong hole. Um, first of all, that is really, really, really nice. You can taste the jalapenos, you can taste the red onion, which is utterly fantastic. You can taste the peppers. Now, the surprise. The surprise here is, as a very nice tasting pizza, um, could use more cheese, as I said, but I'll try not to spit them. It's too chilly rating, too chilly rating. This is what I mean about when I come to power, we need to like draw, uh, you know, all these chilly ratings from various supermarkets and stuff like that, and various frozen goods and chilled goods and things like that, into a new sort of system where they're all comparable directly against each other. Because this ain't nuclear, but this is as hot as uh, last week's, which was a three chilli rating. Um, yeah, that sizzle steak chicken. This this has got a bite. It's not going to blow your head off. I'm not struggling with it or anything, but I'm very surprised. I guess I'm very surprised because it said two chilli rating. Sides of mouth gone. Front of my roof of mouth gone. Back of lips tingling. End of tongue gone. Definite line in the back of my throat. Two chilli rating or not. That's got a kick. That's got a kick. And it's very, very, very nice. Let's try a piece of the chicken. Chicken is fucking to die for. Unbelievably nice. Very soft, very tender, moist. Um, nice char-grilled um, taste coming off it. And now the heat's coming through. So it's not just a question of what's on the pizza. The chicken itself is obviously being seasoned with some level of spice. I am liking this. Anyway, palate cleanse. This stuff is fucking liquid crack. Windy pops. Let's try. Let's try uh, another bite. Mmm. Definite heat. Definite heat. Because you you you're aware of what to expect on the second bite, you can take him the rest of the pizza and the taste. You can taste the char grilled chicken, even um, amongst all this stuff here. Definitely, I got an ick or sniffle going on. This is what I mean, too chilly rating. This is surprising, this is surprising. But then their range of before has had low chilli ratings and it was surprising, but it's a really nice pizza. I can taste the jalapenos, I can taste the red peppers. The cheese, it's mozzarella, is really, really nice. A little bit of a creamy taste to it. Oh, the base is really light. I like that for my base. It's really, really crispy. It's really nice and really light. Like I said, I don't like getting weighed down in doughy, bready, break, uh, bread cake, if you know what I mean. Mmm. It just gets better and better. This, for a frozen pizza, Granted, the only other frozen pizza I've had in this range was the uh, Iceland um, scarily spicy hot one, which was spicy and blew my face off. This is not that, nowhere near that spicy, but it's got a nice pleasant kick. This is a really nice frozen pizza. Have I got the receipt in my pocket? Yes. We'll have a look at what it cost, because it's 500 plus grams, so it's reasonably big. But I'm generally very surprised with this, and I would very much recommend it. If you're not a fan of spicy food, I really don't think it's that hot if you're not a fan of spicy food, but there is a definite kick to it. I mean, I'm finding a kick to it, but yeah, but it's just, it's just a nice, this is probably the best frozen pizza I've had in months, in, in years, to be fair. The other one um, was nice, the Iceland one, but you know, every, if you want to have a regular pizza, even I wouldn't go for one that blows your face off every time you eat it, but this is fantastic. I really recommend this. Mmm. Honestly, I cannot recommend this pizza enough. Um, 
cook it straight from frozen, don't fuck around like I did, I lucked out by not fucking it up, but fantastic, tastes really, really, really nice, the base is amazing, nice creamy mozzarella, the chicken is phenomenal, especially like the fact that it's char grilled and you can taste it above all the other ingredients, but it's not super doughy and filling either, is it? So I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this. And let's see if I can actually for once give you an accurate price. Accurate price, not just say something and change. The spicy chicken. Oh my God, it was four quid. That's, that's quite pricey. That is quite pricey. I mean, you could get a deli one that's probably bigger than that. Has more ingredients and toppings on it. For around about three quid, well, I mean Daddy's supermarket one. But from from taste alone, I have to say I really, really, Scout Woody Pops, do recommend it. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you've tried the uh, the limited edition. Well, it's not limited edition. The exclusive uh, to Iceland of this and TGI's spicy chicken pizza, two chili rating, but certainly has a kick. I'd love to know if you've had it. And sorry, third Woody Pops. Can you actually get pizzas, or this pizza, I should say? Is this a signature pizza from the actual restaurant? I would love to know, but yeah, much like most of the other stuff I've tried in this range, the TGI Fridays range, I really thoroughly do recommend it. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.